Okay, number 19. What are we looking at? We're looking at a polynomial cubic, to be more exact, times another polynomial, a quadratic. And then they say this given expression is rewritten in the same form as ax to the fifth, bx to the fourth, cx to the cubed, plus dx squared plus ex, where a, b, c, d, and e are constants. What is the value of d? So our goal is to find d, which means we really want to find what is the coefficient of the x squared term when I multiply out this polynomial. So the key question is, do you know how to multiply out a polynomial? Well, yeah. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply out the first term times every other term. And then I'm going to do the second term times every other term. And I'm going to do my last term times every other term. And that's how I'd fully multiply it out. I don't think I necessarily need to do that full multiplying out because I can figure out which terms are going to be x squared. My x cubed will not multiply with anything to give me an x squared. My minus 6x will multiply with an x to give me an x squared. Well, the x over here is plus x. So it's going to be minus 6x squared. And then my 5, well, that would have to multiply by an x squared term to also give me x. And the x squared in the other polynomial is 3x squared. So that's plus 5 times 3, 15x squared. My x squared terms will then combine to plus 9x squared. The answer for D, the coefficient of x squared, is 9. The correct answer for 19 is 9. Now, I could have gone and multiplied out all the terms and then combined like terms, etc. I would have come to the same answer. It just takes a little more work. It's not too difficult just to find what you'd be your x squared terms. But if you're uncomfortable doing that, do the whole multiplying out. Number 20, okay, I've got a flagpole, I've got a height of 15, a wire attaching it that's 17 feet at an angle of x degrees, okay? So the rope measures 17 feet long, angle of x, the rope is attached to the mass 15 feet above. What is the value of tan x? So that's gonna be the tangent of this angle. The tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. Okay, which means it's that length divided by that length. Well, one way to get that missing length is I know it's a right triangle. I have two other lengths. I'm simply going to use Pythagorean theorem. So 15 squared plus my missing length, call it x squared at the bottom, equals the hypotenuse 17 squared. 15 squared is 225 plus x squared. 17 squared is 289. By the way, it helps to know your squares up to 20 and 25 squared almost by heart. You run into them a lot on the no calculator exam. It will save you a lot of time and give you chances to you know, possibly pursue more answer options. So x squared equals 289 minus 225, which is going to be 64. x squared equals 64. That means x is the square root of 64, which is 8. So my base is 8. What's the question they're asking? What is the value of tan x? Okay, so tan x is the 8 divided by the height, the other adjacent leg, which is 15. The correct answer for this problem is 8 fifteenths. Now, it is possible to look at this a slightly different way. I could have done something like, the uh, problem is this is the no calculator portion of the exam. I could have said the cosine of x, because I already have the values for that, which is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, is 15 over 17. I could have said x degrees equals the inverse cosine of 15 seventeenths. Of course, it would really help to have a calculator to do that, which makes this more difficult on the exam practically.